What's up, everybody? We are coming to you live from sunny California. It is June 25th, 2022. It's a big day. It might seem like a normal day for everyone else out there. I woke up feeling normal, and then my mom called me and she said, Hey, Jeffrey, this is the two-year anniversary of getting, getting hit by a crane. Stop it. Stop. Enough. Stop. So what did you much. do last night? Last night I hung out at Mike's. I saw his new house, and Mike and I talked about doing this podcast today. But um, he's running a little late. It's cool. He got that hair surgery, so he's probably probably dealing with that. But I think he has to put lotion on it or something. You want to know what I did last night? Uh, yeah, sure. Had sex. Whoa. <laughs> you know I got you on camera right here. These are spy glasses. Oh, this is like four inches from your face right now. Well, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, it's got to have a lot of batteries and memory cards in there and stuff. But they're supposed to be low key. It's so obvious. It's like <laughs> I'm showing you guys behind the scenes of what goes on here at Jeff and Fifth. Such a mess in the office too because we've been out. Yeah, I don't know if we should be exposing all this. It's a it's a Patreon POV. We'll give this POV. We'll only give a little snippet here, and then we'll give the rest. The whole episode we'll release on Patreon with just the glasses view. That'd be you do, sick. Oh, you do day in a life when there's such oh, a good video. Yeah. Oh almost, my god, you waking up? I just wore them into the bathroom, and I you, the first thing you do is unzip your pants and look right down at your dick, and then Oscar would be getting a fucking an angle of that. I just he like, goes, take take the glasses, take the glasses off. off. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? And Jeff, before you start, yeah. I am recording you from these spy glasses. I just have to. I'm oh. obligated to tell you. Or just get another angle for the fans on Patreon. We're gonna give them this angle. Oh wow, wow the mic is is. Incredibly self-supportive today. It feels like usually it's falling all over the place. I, I, I set it up for you today. Oh, Oscar. Hey, how are you, buddy? <laughs> who, who, Kyle's over at home today, it seems. Yeah. Kyle is going to be remote today. He was sick, and we don't want to take any risks around you. So so is he the bedroom boys today instead of the the bathroom boys? All right. Well, yeah, I'm on a comfy chair now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to just get a couple things out of the way. Right you want to address the elephant in the room? That well, fucking ridiculous thing that's going <laughs> on in your head? Yeah, I, I mean, we could start with that, but I, I, I do want to say... Uh, it don't yeah, look bad. Sure. It don't look bad. No, no. I want to say this. I'm, I'm not, I don't feel well. I don't I know feel you. well. I, I, sh I, I probably should have stayed at home. Uh, I'm sweating a little bit and not from my normal like anxiety and, and nerves. But I, I just, I feel unwell. And I had that girl, girl came over at six in the morning. She kept me up for two hours. She was all drugged out of her fucking mind. I was trying to take care of her and help her. She had one pink nostril, one white crusty nostril. I was like, right back you know, into it, huh? Well, you, I mean, you were traveling around uh, Europe. You call me and you're like, yo, I'm having a bad night. Can I come over? I'm like, yeah, come over. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And she stayed for two hours. We talked and then she left. I didn't really get much sleep. The other thing I want to say is this. My um, shorts... I don't have underwear on and I thought they were the kind of like bathing suit shorts that have the mesh in them that that hide your nuts but any moment dude if you get the right camera angle you get can get that a, a, <laughs> yeah you can give me those spy glasses. <laughs> you can get a scene of my fucking ball sack oh, my damn. old saggy oh, ball sack oh, no. right now like I said I was sick and you called and you said yo I, I want to do the show today and no matter what happens Jeff if you call me you say jump I say how high well, you know what I'm saying I'm here to serve you and, and especially oh, your audience I took one of these already. I feel terrible. I'm fucking out of it. Send I'm sweating. It you want to hit one of these? Yeah, fuck them. Is this Rogan I, shit? I, yeah, but it made me nauseous. I, maybe I have to get used to it. How many are you supposed something? to take? I took two. Two it says capsules? Take two. It's going to fuck me up? It might make yeah, you. Dude, I've been two. ultra paying attention to my health. I was like one. Does your I brain mean, feel better on it? My brain. Has Does your feeling. brain feel better on it? Get it? Do you get oh, what damn, I'm saying? Damn, that is good. Yeah. By the way, I have to wear the headphones like this because of my my head, which we can talk about in a sec. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna pop two of these real quick. I took them off camera, but I don't think I could do it. I don't know how Rogan does it. Well, he's probably used to him. I mean, he's a cyborg. You yeah. know, he t you got to understand the kind, the amount of shit Rogan does. He's probably eating a couple steaks before he takes oh, them too. I took it on fucking empty stomach. Elk. He's shooting up, you know, a couple hundred milligrams of test before every episode. Ivermectin. He's he's sucking down NAD. <laughs> Ivermectin. The dude's loaded up on NAD. He's feeding his. You got to understand the amount of food Joe Rogan that. gives to his cells, bro. You're not feeding your cells. You're not feeding oh, no. your cells. No. He's directly feeding his cells with NAD, which it is says a very high-priced uh, substance. Yeah, I take it sometimes, to be honest. I can't afford as much as Rogan does, but I've done a couple bags of it. NAD? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do that Yeah, it's pretty wild shit. It? 
No, they put it into your arm. Oh, IV. Yeah, they put it into your arm in an IV, and it's a big bag. And as it seeps into your system, your stomach starts to tie up in a knot, and it doesn't feel good. And the, the, it's it's like a the faster you do it, the more of a warrior you are because it's very it's a bit painful. It's some real it's Illuminati weird. type shit, bro. Like only some of that stuff you guys were saying is in here. <laughs> really? Assist mental clarity, promotes flow state, blend of vitamin B. I heard a bunch of crap. Anything about dick? Uh, your dick? I'm sure it's got dick stuff in there. Let me hit another one. Fuck it. If we're gonna go all out. No, no, you just did two. You, you just I want to. I want an edge up on the competition here. I'll take one more. What's the worst that can happen? It always goes south. <coughs> All right, you want to hit one? Uh, I'm straight. <laughs> Steven, you got that outfit from your Instagram on. That's yeah. the same one. Yeah. I remember well, I you called for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I remember you called Jeff last night, and you were like, "Dude, bro," <laughs> you're like, "I've been getting all these girls lately," and then I realized that it was only because. Uh, what was the kid's name? Oh, he posted. He posted a picture on Instagram, and Vinny Hacker shared it. Because it was just like, it's such a nice photo. He's confident. He's feeling himself. He's got his new hair. He's got the cool outfit on. But he's in his room. That's his little jerk off dungeon with his sheets <laughs> so covered. His, his window is covered with the fucking bed sheet. It's just an average 21 year old kid in middle America, you know? What a time to be alive at 21. Which I, be, I feel like a lot of people watching this are probably around that age. Yeah, I think our yeah. audience is very Whoa. educated, mature. No, hold 50, on a second. 50, hold a lot on of women. A don't, don't get me started on your audience. I mean, I got. I, I want to say this said there before. Twenty-one year old no, guys are jerking off. I said that was the average age, but I think it's apparent by now that your audience is is easily one of the more educated, creative. <laughs> self-sufficient audiences in the game. I bet you there's a lot of people out there watching this, thinking about what their next creative pursuit's gonna be, thinking about their hobbies, their goals in life. I mean, I've got shows on multiple channels, and I don't, I mean, the audience over here is just second to none, dude, Jeff FM. A lot of, lot of women. You could tell they're, they're creatives. You know? Especially, up? especially um, one that stuck out lately is that Why Sell Wittick. Okay, you're, enough, you're, enough, you're, enough, you're, enough, you're, enough, 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 enough. <laughs> What's going on with you lately? Let's talk about this hair. Do you feel more confident? You happy you did it? Do I feel more confident? I look like a fucking convict. I look like Pablo Schreiber from fucking. I mean, Andrew <laughs> Tate. Yeah, like, yeah, I look like Cobra Tate, dude. What's that guy's name? Andrew Tate. You do. What does he hate women or some shit? <laughs> oh What's that guy's deal, bro? I don't know. I, I his videos piss me off. Psycho. And everybody says, "Get him on the show. Get him on the show." Yeah. Well, that's his goal. His goal is to piss you off. You know what I'm saying? And that's how he makes his money. Well, yeah. he probably already. It seems like he already has money. He's probably he's probably quite a good businessman. He lives in like Romania and. As somebody who just went out to those fucking country, I was out in Turkey, bro. You could, I would live in Romania too. You know you what we're talking about? about? Yeah, He's all over course. TikTok. How much? What? Yeah. What? Sure, I was going with that. I don't know. Because you rely only on your looks <laughs> now. <laughs> you, stop, you, stop, <laughs> you became a thirst trap and TikToker. <laughs> It's bro, right you're gonna, he's going to continue to, to <laughs> yeah. evolve, bro. I love watching this kid, dude, because he went from this sucking awkward. I know. Now he, I go, he's going to be the most successful at all. No, 100%. Now oh. I show up at hide, and he's like, yeah, let him in. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? Yo? What the fuck? We had a great week. We went to go shoot with Sugar out in Arizona. Um, it was fun, man. We uh, I Kyle, Kyle missed out on that one. He couldn't come along, but we had Churdley's fill in, our weatherman, that turned Ryan um, gay for a little yep, bit. Yep. I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll check in on that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but Steven and I had a nice spar in front of Sean. Sean was the ref. Mm -hmm. Steven and I fight all the time. We love it. We love messing around, grappling a little bit, striking a little, you know? Oh, we had a spar in, the, in, an, in an octagon in front of... One of the, the the best UFC fighters got a big Insane. match coming up on the second. Big time, big mm -hmm. time. Wants to test a test his. Oh look, this fortitude. is us. This was us out there. I haven't seen. I haven't oh, actually was... seen the. Oh, no one's seen this yet, right? It's not. I out. thought we were gonna be funnier and like goofing around, but I was just worried Stephen was gonna fucking throw a right hand because we had <laughs> MMA gloves on. Imagine Stephen knocks me out in we front of him. <laughs> What's Timmy doing? We're using we're using MMA gloves. The ones that these like well when they fight like the what, four ounce. Yeah, like four ounce. Lois. Man, I love these. I, I love Sugar and Timmy. Such a, such a nice kid. This was scary. I was so scared. This was fun to be in there, but it wasn't like a friendly spark. Cause Steven could just go crazy on me right now. He goes for a takedown. He felt like Khabib on the ground. <laughs> Steve, you're moving pretty good, bro. Nice. Thanks, man. Yeah. I, I don't know about <laughs> the shorts. Yeah, the shorts. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. It's, like a, it's almost like, like a cup. You both went for like capris. It was for the barbershop. It was a joke. We didn't think they were going to allow us to just go at it. They said it. And oh, he called me with it. <laughs> oh, oh, that woke Jeff up. See, that's why you got to yeah, be careful. See, right? yeah. yeah, if you're gonna throw those, you got it. You got to be ready to go after that. <laughs> Look at him, Khabib. He, he Look just at him hit me with a really hard right hand, and I got scared and tried to go for a Oh no, yo, Steven! 
<laughs> Yo, hold on a second. I understand. I know this match ended early, but Steven, I got to say, bro, I'm really impressed with some of your movements. Nice takedown, huh? Well, dude, he threw a nice, he threw a nice and shot. And slam the He's slam. He's still going for the slam. Oh, he, he was trying to, to kill me out there. I had he, the braids, uh, though. I started blocking out here. I was like, you know, maybe I should tap. <laughs> Did you have an... <laughs> his lock ain't exactly huh? that great on the feet. Yeah, I think you could have My headgear popped off. He slammed me so fucking hard. He almost broke my spine. Yeah. No, come on. I could have paralyzed. I'm actually, out. Steven, I got to say, as your, as your stepping dad here, bro, I'm pretty proud of you, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. You threw a nice shot. You fucking, you look good on the, on the, on the takedown. And this was immediately uh, after we got there after a six hour drive. I'm not making excuses. You know, I clearly got the first round submission easily, effortlessly. I saw that neck open up yeah. and I was like, I'm taking it. I'm taking yeah, it because right. he's too, he's too dangerous out there. Yeah, he is. Luckily, we were only going 50% there. If he were to throw one of those rights, you know, you could have hurt me bad and that would have been terrible for my image. Let's do that again, but not on me being on 30, 30 minutes of sleep. I had 30 <laughs> minutes of sleep that day. Uh, I mean, you look pretty good, dude. I, what, what are we looking at here? Some sort of graph? Yeah, that, uh, that so, so let me, let me, let me explain <laughs> what why. Are we, what are we doing here? Mike, let me explain to you why this happened. Because yeah, yeah. I, I'm done with, with fighting with Steven because I know he's going to make a hit piece on me one day and say that I, oh this God. is my idea yeah, to fight it's all the called, time. We call it the why left team Maverick. It happens all the time, dude. Yeah, it's exactly. a certain kind of video. It really goes back to the originator of it, which is why left team 10. That's the, that's the beginning point. But we always joke about that. Videos yes. were crushed. Oh, they were crazy. I was about bro. to join Team Ten just so I could leave. Leave and get a good video <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I could come mill off that. Well, he genuinely believes I'm going to do that one day. Well, I don't know <laughs> how much clickbait why I left Jeff FM would make. You know, they'd probably know you're just fucking around. Jeff, anyway. I I have to realize, I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing for you, but I'm so scared of you. Like I would be so scared. I would never make a, <laughs> a coming out video. You would track me down. I'm not like you would. Well, His you're not. You're, so mad. You. you're not that fucking scared. This is also an act because the prank you did on me last week. Is, <laughs> I heard oh. about this. Is honestly, I don't know. Like that was supposed to be my revenge on you, but it was kind of a, a fair, even spar, you know. But you really fucked up my life for a week. And and Kyle, you were in on it. I know I called you up to yell at you, Mike. I, I, did I tell you what he did to me? Yeah, I heard about with this. the beeping yeah, device. Terrible. Honestly, honestly, dude, I I've lived through fucking Abu Ghraib and a lot of that kind of shit. What you just did was ac don't... akin to waterboarding, bro. Like that's some nasty. It's that's some gnarly saying. shit, boys. You I can't understand. believe you fucking did that to my to, to Jeff. The paranoia that Mike and I deal with from our past experiences in life, like she can really hit the fan. People uh, could be out to kill you. They could be out to get you locked up. And Jeff, we explain will, what happened though to the viewers. I will in a second, but I just want to voice my frustration. <laughs> uh, Steven saw a TikTok of how to prank your friend, <laughs> like how to really brutally prank your friend for five years straight or something like that. So it's a little device that does nothing but beep, a piercing beep like a dying fire alarm. And every 45 minutes. You could set the timers. So he could do it for five minutes, but the max was every 45 minutes you get a fire alarm beep. And I'm going nuts because I think somebody, I, mean, I got a lot of stuff going on in my know, life right I now, know. and I'm thinking that people are out to get me. <laughs> and he picked the perfect day to fuck me. I didn't to know. fucking. Kyle knew. Kyle knows what's going so on. So what? In my you life. got this thing in your room. Kyle and you... gets in trouble all the time for his stupid actions because I know Kyle's smart <laughs> yeah, he enough and, I, and he allows it. So you got this thing in your room that keeps beeping. Beeping. And you're trying to, bro, that's, that, and like I said, that's torture. That's fucking torture, bro. Yeah. Because, bro, you got to think about it like this. Even when you know it's the smoke alarm, you're still not going to get up on a stool and change. Like, you, you no, might. No, I checked them Ooh, I, I, checked, I checked all my fire alarms. I tore apart my whole house. I checked my dressers. I was like, if somebody really bugged me, I was looking under the bed. But they put it inside my mattress. Was it as loud as a smoke alarm? It's as like loud as a smoke alarm, yeah. God And dang. it's supposed to do that for five years. He called me. He I called forgot. me and he's like, he's like, hey, did you leave a, a lab here or something that's like dying? Yeah, because it felt like a recording device that was dying. And I'm like, somebody's listening to every word I'm saying. <laughs> and they're trying to... So Are you really? can't be that scared. No, oh, I got. I that's a, no, that's I got scared. I forgot. I forgot. I, it was like a week past. I'm like, oh my god, I forgot. Kyle called me. I'm like, oh, because he called. He, Kyle called me saying that Jeff just called him freaking out about like thinking he's like there's people after him or something. And he's like, it's going. I was. I crazy. was this close to it calling does. up Dude. people I know and threatening them. And, and I was like, oh my god, it's been like a week. I was like, I completely forgot. So what happened? So you so you find the thing? No, five days go by. And he finds out that, oh, fuck, I forgot to finish this prank on him. So it's just been beeping in my house, and I haven't been sleeping now. <laughs> I get so scared yeah, because he was supposed to go pull the thing out, and he got fucked up with some fucking some prostitutes and went to the nightclub. Whatever went to Bootsy the fuck this Wednesdays. New, newfound fame is distracting <laughs> Bro, he him. honestly is blowing. He honestly is blowing up. He's like, dude, it's crazy to watch him, bro. He's like the Bryce Hall of, of TikTok what? right no, now. Bro. Not, yeah, bro. you are. Oh, no, dude, I, it doesn't matter. It's not about views. It's about what you can appear to be. It's not. It's perception, bro. <laughs> you show up with an outfit like that to the nightclub, it doesn't matter if you got 220000 or $220 million. It don't matter. People are going to be like, top. yo, that's that kid that rocks that fresh fit. 
Your hair looks good. You, oh actually, God, look, what a story. you actually look a little thinner too. Really? Yeah. I've it might be the myself, it might be the clothing. I, I was at I was at uh, uh, Poppy the day after we went to the podcast with Tana, and she was hosting the uh, the the Poppy that night. Yeah. And she had a table, and I was there. Yeah. At the table, and and I spilled my drink on her, and I, like we didn't say a word to each other. Uh, I, like she didn't know I was there, and I spilled my drink on her in an accident, and she got so mad, and she's like, "Are you are you kidding me?" I was like, "I'm so sorry." And then she she realized it was me. And I, thank God, because that would have been so bad. I would have gotten kicked and out. That is assault. So, <laughs> so awkward. So speaking of Tana, I talked Sorry. to her about doing a, a joint show over here once a yeah, month. Yeah. I think you and I do a show once a month. Yeah. We come up with a cool name for it or something yeah. like that. Mike, I want to. Mike I want and the to boys. Do I like Crimecast. Mike I thought Crimecast was crime cool, cast. and I think that we cover a. What's going on there, Kyle? Is that you? Uh, is it me? You eating candy in, the, in your mic? This new remote. Kyle is gonna have to. I just like the fact out. that our heartbeat's still showing on on seven, dude. That's a that's a cool idea, but, dude. <laughs> you just throw our fucking heartbeats on, like you know, you ask somebody a tough question. Listen, I like Crimecast. I like the idea of coming in here. We talk about fucking, you know, some sort of siege of of, of Baghdad one week, and and how you know a bunch of Americans got rich stealing. Let me tell you something real quick. Crime. What do you mean, Americans crime, got rich. I'm stealing. throwing just random shit out there. I'm okay. saying crime is real big in the podcast game. You know, three of the top five shows are generally crime based. True crime. Yeah, true crime stuff. I think we can crush it in that department. We also we know. Just get we our also have good straight. advice for people that are recovering in recovery. Yeah, Maybe we could do recovery crime cast. <laughs> recovery crime cast. Yeah, <laughs> it's like people <laughs> it's who are work. recovering from true crimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, did you? You know, somebody. F- punched you in the face and it was assault hot this is how you recover from it like i don't know i like where your head is at something about being a drug addict and a drug dealer or you're the drug dealer can i tell you something i i want to tell you specifically you because i think you can relate i think i'm developing a lazy eye Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't know why. I don't know why it's it, it, it's make, make me insecure. No, I don't. I don't mean it like that. I, I want to talk a little bit about it because I lately I've noticed my left eye just hasn't been moving as as functionally as it once was, bro. You have been I, hit by any cranes recently? Mm, probably got what Justin Bieber mm-hmm. has. Nah, it's not. No, nah, I think he's got something else. I, I I was reading about it, bro. It has something to do with like the the muscle behind your eye. But there's a way. There's ways to easily fix it. You have to like cover Surgery? up your strong eye and and you and you get better with your your bad eye. i can do surgery on it i've had so many surgeries i could probably figure it out yeah you think so i just had surgery your eyes are fine yeah did I you do had... anesthesia did you do anesthesia on this well i mean should we tell them a little bit i, I don't want to get too in depth because honestly I co- here's the only issue with coming on the on the show i love i love the show but i do have to protect certain stories for the show that i of make course. money you yeah, know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, it's I like, gotcha. and, and build with i don't want to get too into it you want to just but call I'll say up this an addict quick, and no, give them advice no I, i'll say this i went to turkey i had my hair done uh, maybe like 10 years ago, I started thinning a little bit in the back. It really wasn't too bad. No one ever really said anything about it. But I got out to Europe and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to fucking send it. Not only is it good content, but I got in with a really good squad out there. And, you know, I, I ended up at this hospital and they and they fucking bro. They didn't really s- s- speak like the people that were doing it didn't really speak a ton of English. There's why did you choose to get such a drastic procedure done? You know, in- lately, dude, I got to be honest with you. I, I, I've just, I think I'm having a midlife crisis. I've been just sending it. I don't know if you noticed, I bought a, a four plus million dollar house. Uh-huh. Um, I watched a video today. Somebody was like a financial advisor. They said that it was such a stupid move. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe they it was, made a whole video you know, you know, the last message I had from him was, was very nice. And I said to him that I enjoy his content, and I saw the Graham Stephan video, and I, I felt a little bit, felt a little bit demeaned by that video. I'm going to be honest with you. Really? I mean, listen, that is his a soft spot. I'm his, sorry for bringing no, it up. No, it's not. I'll talk about it quickly. His points were 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 solid. Um, it's not the best just, time. Just, no, the market no. is not. Let Let me explain for a second. Just like anything else, investigative like Graham Stephan or anybody else who makes investigative videos or or videos that are you know awareness or educational. There's certain parts that they just don't understand. They don't know my financial financial situation. Mm-hmm. They don't know what I'm looking at as opposed to buying. So what I'll say is this. It's not about timing the market. It's about time in the market. How Housing is historically a sure shot bet in the United States of America. It, it, and he said this stuff. He did not say this stuff. His, no, his, he was nice. His he, concerns were more NFT based. His concerns were more about the, the, the leveraging of the NFT and the, and the NFT purchase itself. I, I shouldn't say that. because And did. it's easy to take shots at that right now. 100%. The market is going to soften. The interest rates are, are, are rough. 
the re he, he called out the fact that I put down a, a, a larger amount of down payment. The reason I did that was because I was able to secure a very competitive rate on the house. And they asked me for a little bit more money down. I had cash on the sidelines, a little bit of cash on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. So I was able to fucking do it. And the house I got and the location it's in is extremely sought after. It's not representative of the overall. Okay, yeah. I was just breaking your balls, Mike. I love the house. I'm proud of you. <laughs> well, well, listen. And, I, you, you know you're going you invite to, me on the show. And you're going into interest rates <laughs> okay, and all this crap. Okay, Nobody's well, so I guarantee you there's some. Uh, Are you in the Valley? I'm, I'm in Laurel Canyon. We're just right? happy we got a place to go have after parties at, you know? We go crash there. If you get locked out of your apartment again, you can yep. call Mike. Go sleep over in the... It, it, listen, let me just let me put it like pool, this. a jacuzzi, that beautiful view. Let me say this, bro, for, for everybody, because he's not the only one that made the video. There's a lot of videos on TikTok. Oh, you want to use my platform to say fuck you to everybody? No, I'm not saying fuck you. I'm saying this. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Okay, if I make a fucking, if I make a, fi a big financial decision, it's not going to be on a whim. It's going to take in a lot of factors into consideration. Bro, look who you're talking to. How many houses do we own here as a collective? Everybody else in this well, room. Well, no, it's 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 worth questioning because anybody can buy a house and is is right. And for your audience, this is That's valuable conversation. Listen to me. I mean, anyone within financial means to do so <laughs> can buy a house. What I'm trying to say is this. It isn't the best time to buy a house right now. Yeah. But guess what? I'm a fucking millionaire, dude. I do whatever the <laughs> fuck so I want. Funny. It's so you know funny. what I'm saying? We like, got I don't like, you want. It's yeah, so you know what I'm saying? I pay my fucking taxes. I do what I fucking want. I wanted the house. <laughs> I had a, a, a concept and it, and it, and it, and it those worked. glasses filming you nuts that. right now? I this don't is, know. This is funny to have this oh, conversation with them, have out. such a serious conversation. We could see, we could see your dick and balls, your shorts. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny having this conversation where you get mad and serious and you have this hair. <laughs> it's a lot to deal with. I'm sick. I can't wear the headphones because I can't put the headphones on top, Sounds more on top more of like my head. Tape. It's so spiky. My hair is hard. It's like crusty right now. But but they did a little bit in the back and they did a little bit in the front and it's going to grow out. And, and the, the one problem, and I'll leave it at this and we can talk about some cooler stuff. The one uh, issue that I've had is when I shaved it, everybody was like, holy shit, it looks fucking great. Shaved. Yeah, you got a good head for a shaved. So now I've spent this money on getting the fucking <laughs> hair done, and I don't want it. I'm going to see if I can return it. I want to well, go back I'll, and have them take it all out. Also, it is kind of that that uh, Jamie Foxx hairline that you got. It looks painted on. It looks perfect. So you might yeah, be yeah. also looking at that. But I think you would know hair is nice. You got a good face for it, Mike. Who the fuck? I was always, yeah. What fucking... Hair looked like before. You always wore a hat. I never seen your hat. There's before. there's shots of it. It wasn't bad. I mean, I'm sure Oscar, can you pull up a pic of for my my Instagram? There's there I mean my hair was fine. There's a picture of me and Logan on there. You know, it just was starting to thin a little bit. It wasn't horrible, but I just you I wanted like to you'd be in a biker gang now. It wasn't bad at all. Like a lot more tough. It wasn't you bad. You think I overact reacted. Yeah, you were always overreacting. Even on the barbershop when we did the first episode and we first met, you were I all like, you I don't back. have hair yeah, back here. Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. It's fine. And I watched that episode back now and fucking, I had great, I was real thick back then. I had my hair braided this past week. I saw that. I thought, thought it looked incredible. I mean, I thought you were highly uh, culturally appropriating. But <laughs> I know. I felt <laughs> bad doing kidding. it. I, I did kidding. not. And I'm like walking around the building here because, you know, you can't take it off the braids and you can't really hide it so I'm walking around my building and I'm seeing the doorman and stuff and I, I felt the need to explain myself every time I saw somebody like it's for a video don't yeah, worry. Yeah. <laughs> this is a character I'm doing I look like James Franco from fucking Spring Breakers this video so I cool remember this video head. like it was yesterday dude what a what a you know oh look my oh, lazy damn. eye right there so uh, look your lazy oh, eye sure. oh my god you look so much better with that haircut or just what you have right now you oh no not my Oh man, there she is, my good old ex. So, Dude, why do me and her look so young in this? Dude, how <laughs> long so is young. this? I actually don't want to watch it. No, I don't oh. want to watch oh, this. Oh my god. <laughs> I, oh, I, I don't care, but I also just. Bro, we're at rock bottom, huh? <laughs> look at you now with the procedure freshly out. You got blood dripping from your forehead. My eye was pushing it. Look, Kyle had one eye. He was doing that to support me. <laughs> I look at the side. No, I thought he was really mad. Uh, nah, there have been a few parts points in my career where I've actually been. If you get me mad now, you've done something crazy. Because I honestly don't give a. F like you were telling me about all these videos that came out about my <laughs> house and I would go to H three yeah. one or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, you're like, what did you think of the video? I, go, I didn't see that shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what anybody talk. I don't give a shit about anything right now, dude. Nothing at all because, bro. Well, I remember this. I'm watching H three and I'm watching him talk about me and my situation, and then. It's me sitting here, and then it goes to the next clip, and he's like, all right, now fucking let's get to Mike. And then he gets to you, and you're sitting in the same spot. Yeah, in the same spot. <laughs> no, I, and, and it's funny because I like, wait, interact. is that Jeff's studio? Actually, you know what? Fuck Jeff and Mike. Because <laughs> I interact with him on Twitter because I actually, I actually 
ironically have a lot of similar viewpoints to him to an extent. I think I think you know he Ethan's pretty. He, he's not I wouldn't call him even close to fringe left but he's a little bit more left than me I think on certain topics or at least the way that he presents them online you know he's younger than you I can't I mean whatever but but listen what I'm trying to say is I actually interact with him a lot because we have strong viewpoints that are very similar I can't talk about that I can't talk about this shit with you guys because you guys are gonna fucking I'm trying to have an objective conversation let's here, get a call or let's yeah, help yeah, somebody we need to remember what this show is about if Mike and I are gonna team up here we can't just break his balls the whole time how's that alpha brain doing you feel fucking short how long do you think it takes to kick it son about it tells me you probably got to take it a few times before it does anything right i, I took three now it's um, like you know how we, when you smoke weed for the first time it doesn't really do that much and then when you smoke it the second time it hammers you um yeah it could be that you know every once in a while like life gives you these reminders that there's something much more than what it is that you consider to be your daily you know goal you know what i'm saying and like you wake up every day and you're like i gotta go to the gym i gotta I got to work. I need another million dollars or I need another $10,000. I need my first $10,000. And you start to lose track of the fact that, no, you don't. Like, you need to be happy with what you have right now and you need to spend time being with your people. Bro, I think that alpha brain is fucking buzzing inside you yeah. right now. You think so? Yeah, you are saying some crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're like, this yeah. is good, oh, is bro. Good this stuff? might be clipped out yeah. on TikTok like Mike Malik motivational rant. All right, today's episode is sponsored by DoorDash. Have you got back to back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of? What's the secret to clearing your to do list? A little help from DoorDash. Get what you want to eat right now and right at your door with DoorDash. Along with restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. Craving late night ice cream? Forget that one key ingredient for dinner, or maybe you just need to stock up for the week. With DoorDash, get everything in one app. You hear the way I'm reading right now? You're alpha brain. Uh, all of a sudden, I learned how to read. <laughs> With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go to's or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is easy, and your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose the contactless delivery drop off. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JeffFM. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JeffFM. Don't forget, that's code JeffFM for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Let, let Mike fire your glasses real quick. Mine? Yeah. Andrew <laughs> Tate. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my bro. God. <laughs> Oh my oh god, my god. Right, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Sound like an asshole, Mike. Of course. Wait, am I doing okay? <laughs> of course there's corruption. There's corruption in every country. So why wouldn't I move to a country where the corruption can benefit me? <laughs> <laughs> bro, no, 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 no. That's good. we it's don't like, even need to get him on the show. We, yo, we we have <laughs> we have become a generation of men who have started to believe that there are equal rights for men and women. But if you look back to the beginning, men ran everything. Men provided for their families. Men protected their families. So of course, women should sit and watch television. Bro, this is not this is <laughs> facial hair. Is wait, wait, wait. The beard, yeah. it's the not mustache. Even far off from. Like, I feel like Mike would have a similar rant or something on his own. Ooh, the mustache yeah, right. Is right. <laughs> Imagine Mike and Andrew in the same room. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> would you ever do? Would you ever bring him on impulsive? Yeah, I think so. I want to have him on impulsive, bro. I, like, 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 like similar views. Like, listen, him? no, no, we don't have similar views. I mean, maybe. Who knows? I like the idea of of uh, <laughs> taking advantage views. of corruption. <laughs> I think that's a great idea, bro. If I can, if I can take advantage of some of some government for co corruption i would do, i would totally do that but he's the t he is all jokes aside he is the top g right now you know he really is and everybody knows where's this money coming from he know? clearly was six i don't i don't know i know nothing about bro let me let me, like let me put it like this let me put it like this the success of TikTok is foreign to me. The idea that, that, bro, I posted a video of me getting my head shaved. It got 7 million views. Yeah, we were hoping to ride some of that clickbait with that hair. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can, but like, fuck, dude. I'm going to now, you know, like there goes, it's we'll, just we'll, to we'll, subtract we'll from add, my program. We'll that put hair me. on you. We'll put like a ridiculous haircut on you, like a TikTok or we'll Photoshop. Yeah, I like the, that. The TikTok or Yeah, please. yeah, I like that. Mike's Have hair. YSL Wittick do it. Yeah, we no, get but, that done. No, but the Tate thing, it, it, it's, it's like the, Tate effect you know I'm not one of these like super fringe left psychopaths when it comes to like people that talk about the way people that talk the way he talks but like 
Dude, TikTok is a very toxic place as it pertains to men's thoughts on women. Like, bro, how many TikToks are there out there where you see like a woman getting beaten by a dude and they're like, they're like, you know, like she threw the first punch. You know what I'm saying? It's like e equal rights and lefts. Like, what the fuck? I never seen a TikTok. You, like do you that. not see it was how bad? Yeah, yeah. dude, the sure. TikTok, Young generation, the generation, the, age. yes, bad, dude, a hundred percent. You're starting to see a little. bit. Maybe it's just on TikTok, but you're definitely starting to see this like flip back to this very toxic way of thinking. And they've definitely like, it, it seems like the majority. This is what I see, but it seems like the the majority of TikTok is like that very, like male toxic like back in the boys yeah know? like like super like fringe right thought like way of thinking yeah yeah i don't know why it just seems to elevate those comments <laughs> like i think the chinese government is like yo <laughs> show these dudes at the top did you see that comment where it's like yo men should beat the piss out of women elevate oh that to God. number one well dude. i mean controversial shit's always gonna it's gonna make a lot of noise and then that drives up the algorithm no and andrew Schultz and uh and it was talking about this on the sh his show recently where he said it makes so much sense, obviously, that the Chinese government has created an algorithm that supports us dividing ourselves further wow. and, and supporting this type of behavior where we're like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude. Steven, you're the TikTok expert. How like much TikTok is like pushing propaganda on like male masculinity, but like to the extreme of like toxic is because it gets the people that, talking. That's, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, getting yeah. at. That's what I'm getting at. And, and and you know they're sitting in some lair in fucking in fucking China somewhere in China. China. You know, like Dave. look at what we are doing to them. <laughs> we are turning the country <laughs> against each other. Damn. Yeah, I never thought about it like that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, no, throw it back on me? So listen, guys, here's the deal. <laughs> hey, Motley Crue. I got to say this. The tour started in Tuscaloosa. One of the best stops for the tour. I remember we got off this bus, and me and these guys, we went to this bar. We found these two sound hookers in the bathroom. And I swear to you, these was one of the best dry hand jobs I ever got in my entire fucking life. We walk out of this place. Somebody comes up to me with a nick bag of fucking blow. I'm in the back of the place sniffing lines off this hooker's titties. And they come in and they say, hey, Jay. You want you want a couple hot dogs and but bro you need to lay off the alpha brain this shit's got you t you turned into Adam Sandler today yeah reincarnated <laughs> holy shit give me those glasses back dude. let's get back to let's let's get into some topics Kyle uh wait do you want to take the caller oh yeah we got a caller yeah let's do it You've oh there he is no nah, well Hello. hey bro how we doing very good actually yeah where are you located right now are you in America Argentina Argentina oh wow Got some beautiful yeah. ladies out there, that's for sure. <laughs> that's where your mind goes, huh? Yeah. Well, they really do. <laughs> How's life? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good, actually. I'm studying now. Um, I'm going to study uh, oceanography. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Uh... Yeah, it's the study of oceans, yeah? The photography in yeah, the oceans? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Take pictures of stuff Mike, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got, you know... I, I, I got a procedure done that I needed to shave my head for. I know. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, it medi medi completely medical. Yeah. Now, now, well, from from the outside looking in, you are living in a different country outside of the U.S. Yeah. What are your thoughts looking at these TikToks and all this propaganda that the Chinese government's spreading about <laughs> the U.S.? What are your thoughts? Yeah. What does America I look mean, like to you? Does it just look like a big clown show, a circus? Yeah. I mean, Latin America actually is really, really tough. Actually, Ar Argentina is really tough right now. Uh, I mean, the government here is awful, so I don't know. I'm looking forward to leaving the States. So everybody's uh, got their problems. Yeah, I mean, my aunt uh, lives there, so so yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to go. And, I, and I'm learning to be a barber now, so yeah. Oh, all right, nice. Oh, is that what you're doing for work? Are you apprenticing? Uh, not, not right now, no. I mean, with my, be with my best friend, uh, who is also your f biggest fan, um yeah we're looking to just have fun with this you know uh with this barber stuff hell yeah hey man make sure you root everything in fun and passion not in just you know money that the passion and, and fun is the that's the good part of life it's the good thing about learning a trade you know when you're a barber nobody could ever take that from you you could live anywhere you could be able to survive even just, in prison yeah. it's one of the most valuable prison skills big time you ever get Recession locked up proof. you're gonna be fine 
Yeah, re recession proof. <coughs> you know, you don't have to worry about the economy. You know, we're all stressed out here because we became investors over the past year. Graham Stephan will never make a video like, what a bad time to become a barber. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll never fucking create a yeah. hit Graham piece Stephan on you. Not, not attacking you every Cobra move you Tate make. Cobra Tate will always need you to shave his head. Oh, yeah, big time. I think that's a great move, man. And it's fun, too. Don't let people get you down. You know, you're, you're getting into the barber yeah. biz just for all the cash, the quick cash. But I got into cutting hair just because I loved it. I was cutting my brother's hair in my, in my garage. I love it, man. I love it. Well, isn't this where you ask him if he has a question or no? Yeah. Do, just, we're just going to let him do you have any? Do you have any? Um... <laughs> yeah. What is something you have accomplished as an adult that your younger selves would be so proud of? You know, I'd probably have to be taking these young boys under my wing. That sounds bad when I said that, huh? <laughs> 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 that's, that's one of them. For me, I mean reversing some of the damage that I did in my community, you know, by, by writing the book Ooh, and yeah. helping and helping, you know, the youth, uh, understand addiction and overcome addiction and, and mental illness is, is, would be my number one. And that alpha brain really is kicking. Uh, yeah. I gotta say, <laughs> this isn't even I sponsored. think it had a negative I, I, effect on me. On you. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in a flow state. I feel like I'm withdrawing. No, I'm in a flow state right now. I could, I could probably, I could probably recite the preamble of the constitution. Now, right well, now. we took a bunch of alpha brain, you know, the stuff Joe Rogan sells. You think this is how he does it? Can no, I get that? Can I see no. that bottle for a second? My brain feels fried. Let me, let me see that. Yeah, exactly. And the only reason I'm asking it's for like it is because I'm, I'm taking it and you're not getting it back. <laughs> um, and, and then number two would be, you know, fixing the relationship with my mother. Oh, actually, I do have one. I, I will say that one of my biggest uh, things, it's not going great today because they're warring, but my grandmother and my mother, my, my, my mother and her mother, so my grandmother, had a uh, severed relationship because of a lot of stuff that happened in their life. And before mm -hmm. I moved to California, I forced them to sit down and rekindle their their relationship. Okay, bro, slow down on that alpha brain. I'm proud of you. Those are all nice things. Oh, and I, I, yeah. I, I, as well, yeah, I am happy that I... I... You're to, all you did was take a couple of boys into a band. I know, and you know what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that was your only I take it back. I take, take it back. Some, I don't give a fuck. Boys That's a recent accomplishment, but yes, uh, I, I agree. <laughs> Definitely repairing the relationship with my parents is big. That's huge. That's huge. I was a piece of shit throughout my 20s. But that definitely, um, the audience we built here, Amazing. we help a lot of people. We have our own kind of, our audience here. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but it's like a family and they all help each other. Nahil here. Did I say your name no, wrong? Uh, no, Noel. Noel? Yeah, I mean, you can call me Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. Jordan, Jordan here. Him and his, his boy out there are in Argentina and they they bonded over, crazy. over this. Yeah. All right, Jordan. Well, it was great chatting with you. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar, for, for taking my call. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you. You want to take a trip out there? Speaking of the women. Or, or oh, dude, Buenos Aires. I, I looked it up. Uh, there's a 58% inflation in Argentina right now. Well, it's about the same as ours. You want to check on the weather? Yeah, we got a weather segment. That we I can't even imagine what YSL, YSL Wittick's going to do with me and the Ani pills. <laughs> oh. He's going to have fucking... You, you are back on the stuff. He's going to have a field day. When you got the surgery... Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Did you feel like you had an excruciating headache after? Oh, It's like pretty it painful, hurt. man. I'm not going to lie. Oh, we got weather? Uh, yeah, I think yeah, we got yeah. weather today. This would yeah. be nice because we've been struggling over here with this. Yo... Oh, oh. Vibes. vibes sound fucked over there. Yo, vibes are good, man. Yeah, hey, that's that same guy that found the phone, it. yeah? That He's, found the phone a couple weeks he, back? He replaced the last guy. I'm on a I'm on a balcony with a dog. Oh, you're over on that balcony by your house that overlooks the children's school? No, I'm on I'm on a balcony. <laughs> Can you pan over? Actually, I don't even want to see it. Nah. It's a pool. <laughs> yeah, it's a public swimming pool, and it's just weird that his balcony hangs over it. We're live right now. What's the weather? Just hit us with it, bro. I'm burning up, by the way. Any... Up right the weather is livable as hell. It's the clear skies. Um, do you want me to look up other places? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. We, we pick, I wouldn't I'm in not. Kentucky right now. Oh, can we get LA? Is that possible? <laughs> Abbreviated Kentucky. Yeah, let me text. <laughs> is that how they, that's how they say it out there, huh? The locals? You watch Andrew Tate videos? I don't know who that is. Is that a drug? <laughs> I mean, for some people, yeah, it can be. But while we're on the topic of drugs, you have you ever it. tried, have you ever tried, um, where is it? Absolute brain? What's it called? Uh, again? Alpha brain. Alpha brain from <laughs> on it. Is that what turns you into Joe Rogan? Yes. Yes, exactly, bro. I've been, a, I've been, I, I went from just a regular retired drug addict to some sort of <laughs> socio scientist, bro. Yeah, my friend thought I was feeding him impossible meat the other day, and I was straight up feeding him elk. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb vegan. Was he a vegan? Damn, that's terrible, man. That's a bad prank. I'm, uh... Yeah, and he's sober, but I just I, I put him back on the wagon by by tricking him into drinking a white claw. Bro, that's bad. That's bad, dude. dude that's really bad. Yeah. 
We Wait, why wouldn't you be on a wagon? How do you get places? Am I right? Fuck it. We Wait, no, sorry. I think when you, you give him the white claw, then he goes off. That's off the wagon. Yeah. So I think if you're, if oh. you, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Now you, you push him. You push him off the wagon, basically. So he he's, he, he can he could die now. as a result. He's still <laughs> somewhere now. in the prairies. Oh, my this boyfriend is... texted back. We don't want that. Los do... Angeles is nice as fuck. We don't want nothing to do with him anymore. We don't want his opinion on this okay. show. I'm still waiting for my girlfriend to text me back. Hold on. Hey, does she got a five day? What's that mean? Like a five day forecast? Are you, are you able to? Oh, let me text her. Is there, because it would be nice if you could predict a, a little bit ahead. She's a Gemini, so she's good at predicting shit. And she says she feels energy. And she says the next few days are going to get a little colder, a little cloudier than today. And uh, also she, she, oh shit. Are you guys all Sagittarius? Yeah, we're all Sagittarius, every single one of us. What's the what's your thoughts on the current state of the political and economic crisis we're in right now? Let's talk about that. What's the Jaden uh, Smith at, say in that like, in what? that podcast? You know that clip for Jaden Smith when he's like, "Man, can we just talk about what's going on yeah, in the world yeah, yeah, right yeah, now?" Yeah, it's yeah. just like, "Bro, stop trying to be alpha brain," you know? Yeah, he thinks he eats some elk meat. Yeah, he takes Sorry, so much alpha brain. Just go have fun with your friends. Uh, Will, Will, wait, Will, what's his name? Uh, Jaden. Jaden Smith. Smith. Just go have fun uh, with your the, friends. The political climate's kind of uh, fucked, fucked in the head and stuff. How you um, dealing with that? What do you do? You just go, go hang out with your friends? Yeah. yeah. Can, well, I was talking about Sudan. Talking about I was, the shit's happening in Canada. I was talking about Sudan, but. The Caribbeans are going fucked right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fucked up there. I don't know about U.S. I don't know what they're doing right now. Is it fucked up there? No, I, I jailbreak my phone so I don't see anything from the U.S. I just see other places. Catalina Island has some drama. Why does it look there. like you're lifting your dog's tail up to look at its asshole right now? Not my dog. I don't know what this ah, thing is. It's one of those white dogs with the shit eyes. Bro, that's not your dog. Why did it turn into a cat? It in a quarter second. It morphed, bro. You talking about my cat? <laughs> All right, it's getting it's getting hot in here, man. Yeah. It's getting gonna... fucked up in here. Oh. Should I leave or should I just stay here for a few hours? I got nothing to do <laughs> until, like, um, Sunday. Uh, you know, you go do your thing. Get off that balcony watching those kids, man. It's creepy. I'm yeah. not looking at the pool's closed. Show us the pool. Show us an empty pool. <laughs> that's a that's an alleyway. Oh, it is. Oh, uh, there is right. a, there is a public children's pool over there. Oh, that's what that was abandoned. All right, thanks for calling in, man. We're gonna talk about some serious. Topics. Mm -hmm. That sounds that sounds lit. As Thanks hell. for getting us that weather clean. That was nice. Yeah, you're welcome. You're Surround doing a great baby. job. Keep it up. All right, later, guys. Cool. Um, how long have we been going for? Are we done? Do you want to take one more call? Yeah, let's yeah, do one more sure. call and then we'll wrap it up. What do we got? A big party to go to tonight, Mike? <laughs> you're back in town. Oh you didn't even tell God. us anything about the trip. You didn't say nothing about your whole trip. Mm -hmm. I thought you were gonna have tons of cool stories. Tell us about that threesome story. Get in detail. This was. I you know, it's just subpar, bro. How does that I, come about, though? Do you tell the two girls, like, hey, nah, I want to have a threesome, nah, or do they suggest I, uh, it? No, nah, what had happened was, you know, I, I'm big on, I, I do a lot of time. I put a lot of, I think the, the I think you're I crashing think the from the alpha brain. You know, I put a little bit of time into ta into talking to girls on Instagram. Did you start a group chat or something? No, How it's, you, you know, it's just I talk <laughs> to them. I see them, I, you know, my explore page is filled to the brim with, 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 you know, beautiful women. And I have, you know, this, you know, I got to check and blah, blah, blah. I could usually, and by the way, the majority of times I say this, when I go to message them, I got them thing that says, would you like to accept the message from this girl? So yeah. they've already oh, they've tried already to message me, out. but they deleted it. So wow. it's a, so all I do is hit accept, and now I'm already in there. <laughs> but, you know, it just sets me up because it's like, why, oh, what were you messaging? Like, sometimes I'll just send those eyes that are looking in the one direction. Yeah. Like, yo, man, why were you messaging me back in 2017 or 2018? Yeah. You know, a lot's changed since then. Um, so there was this one in London that I've been talking to. You know, we've been sharing some, some naughty stuff on WhatsApp and stuff like that and other you know, fortified network. How's the third come into play? I'm just asking, not for myself. No, I know, I know, I know but it's I'm fun. asking no, for so she, other so people. She maybe was, these guys would like to know, or some some people in the audience oh, would like to. I don't know if it's really learn about how to how to pursue a, a threesome. Nah, I'm not the guy to ask for that. I'm I'm no I'm no standout. I think I think well, there are ways to do it. I think girl, there are. Girl, I'll talk from a, a realm of first. I'll tell my story. This girl comes uh, to the to the club that I'm at. We went to this club after a restaurant. We went to this place called Tape in London and this girl showed up and she had a friend with her and you know we we were hanging out and everybody's having a good time and me and the one girl were talking and then I was talking to the other girl the other girl was very pretty 
And the one, the first girl basically said to me, you know, like, we're both going to come back with you to your hotel tonight. And and listen, like, that's not a very normalized experience. So I don't want to deliver that as anything that's can you can pull actionable intelligence from to create that same kind of situation for yourself. It's not something you can Damn. just do. It's just, you know, something that presented itself to so me. So you're saying you need to have certain things like the money, the clout, no, no, the that's hairline. Not what I'm saying. No, that's not house. what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it, that's how it worked for me. But I think in the real world. It just takes a kind of it kind of takes a set of balls. You got you got to be able to finesse both situations at once. First of all, you have to be with two girls that you can tell are kind of into that kind of thing. The majority of girls aren't into that kind of thing. But if you're with mm-hmm. girls at a at a you know a questionable place where where that kind of stuff happens, you got to kind of feel it yeah, out. You got to feel the vibe out. And now if you get a rapport with one, you get a rapport with the other. Now you now you're gonna go and try to and you're gonna try to close on that situation. The issue is is it's really really tricky. It's not even as super fun as you would think it is because it's a, it's work mm-hmm. you uh, you really really have to be good at balancing the situation so that you're not showcase you're not showcasing one girl too much and showing too much attention to one girl and not the other stop steven you're not paying attention this segment is for you right now i you- am i was I, i'm setting up a bit for you oh yeah have you oh, ever, yeah. Have, you okay. ever had a, have you ever had a three-way well that's what i don't know no this is- okay this is this is the important part how you finesse the situation is different and 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 less important because it's not easy. I'm going to be transparent. I've only I haven't had all that many, probably less than ten in my life. But but what I will say that is this: when you get into this situation, it is your sole goal to share the affection in both ways. And I'll even even the best person at it. What do you say? Like go ahead, kiss a little or something? No, no. It's Make about out? it's because here's what will happen. I'll explain the situation. What will happen is you will end up in the situation and you will immediately realize that you are more attracted to one of the girls. It's going to happen. It's not maybe going to happen. It's going to happen because as men, we are wired, even though we say we don't have a type, subconsciously we do. And you will end up in the, in the situation. You will notice, holy shit, this girl's way better, way hotter. I'm just more sexually attracted to her than the other girl. Maybe you got a Latina girl and a redhead. Now, (laughs) yeah, maybe. Not me, of course. So what you have to do is you have to balance that output in both directions, regardless of how you truly feel subconsciously, right, about the situation. Not always easy. One of the girls will possibly start to feel neglected. Because, bro, you only have, at the end of the day, one cock. It's just a fact of the matter, unless you're a bicock. You know, some people are bicock. No, 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 people are bicocks. It is. No, I'm I'm not. It's not. It's it's not. not. Brother, listen to me. Let me explain something to you really quick. Someone that dumps way too much life energy into this sport. Okay, keep that uplifting, uplifting music going let, because let me, that's let, really I, nice. I, I'm Mike's trying to explain it. Sharing some insight You're, here that pen, not, penetra- penetration. See, you go to you go to scientists and doctors and and professors for wisdom like this, but they don't know shit about this. But Mike's. I don't really right get up. a chance to talk about this Mike stuff is because the best it's, guy. It's, go ahead. Sorry. It's it's it's. it's so penetration. T- penetration is only a very small portion of the of sexual intercourse. It really is. It, a lot of your your action in the bedroom is dependent on what you're doing with your other orifices, limbs, whatever, right? And so there's a general amount of affection that can be shown to a girl during intercourse, but it's limited generally to one person. And so like, dude, like if I'm having an, if I'm having sex with one person, I like what you're doing right there, but I, but also like, bro, what are you doing? No, no, no. See, he's talking about affection, Steven. I, I'm not talking it's about foreplay. You're not Jack Ammer and two people. You're doing you're doing what tick, the TikTok community thinks would be the right thing to do. But I'm, I'm telling you from a from a person that has 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 Spent an unfortunate amount of years in the space. You okay? can't get this stuff online, man. You can't get this shit in school. Oh, there's there's the majority of women, there are some that aren't, but the majority of women are built off of em- emotional and psychological stimulation. It is not It is not about going like this, Stephen. You're not <laughs> you're jackhammering so two girls at once. <laughs> it's a joke, I know. No, I know I know that. I know you're joking. <laughs> but, bro, there's there's a lot of very small uh, and and... and, and uh, seemingly insignificant things that you can do to make a woman feel appreciated and to make a woman feel supported during sexual intercourse, right? Supporting their head, putting her hand here, putting her hand there. It is, in very many ways, a science. Now, when I'm when I'm missionary and I'm and I'm holding a leg and a head and you know and and <laughs> I hate to get so in depth, but also like you know you're you're kissing their neck, whatever you doing these more romantic things to make them feel supported and, and appreciated and romantically involved. Guess what, Steven? Now you have to do that twice <laughs> at the same time. So let me ask it's you a question. Not worth it. Well, you're well, you're <laughs> just give me a head. Right? One's on the nuts and one's looking the shaft. Oh, that's and like that's fantastic. And you're right. No, you're right. If and they, then you're out. No, if you could finesse Bounce. that, and if you could finesse that, that's great. I've been in that situation. Those are usually porn stars. 
Mm-hmm. Those are usually porn sites. Mm-hmm. I have a very, very, in my second book, I have a very Bro, cool I'm story. I'm dying. I'm boiling inside yeah. from this alpha brain. <laughs> it's hard to talk about this stuff. It's it's slightly just, it, it's 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 very, um, what's it called? Intimate? Yeah, it's very intimate stuff, and it makes me a little, like, it, it's a little, like, cringy. But I think there <laughs> no, are I, a lot I of guys out there that are interested in, in the, the ins and outs of it, you know? No pun intended. I think this is one of the best episodes we've ever done. All right, let's take this caller. Yeah. Well, I had a question for Mike. I had the caller will ask the question while the caller's in. Because they should so, be listening to this talk live. By the way, I'm not, I, you know, let's see how the fans react to this stuff or to the audience reacts to this stuff. Because, I, you know, this stuff is a sensitive topic. And maybe there's women out in your audience that don't want to hear about this stuff. It's very it's very intimate. I, I think on my show, the one I was talking about, getting into this stuff more because I'll have a, a hail, heavy male audience. Yeah, but, you know, we got we got a male audience here, too. I don't want to upset anyone. You heard Jordan call in. I'm sure he would have loved to be a part of that conversation. So, so, He's in Argentina. We're women yeah go ahead uh, Steven. when i dm a girl yeah i whatever i'm texting her or, or whatever i'm telling her i imagine that everyone that follows me can see it because i what if they like screenshot it or something bro what you I'm just so said is the smartest thing you've so ever I said i never flirt with of girls course. DMs. I just, bro you know I'm how many so dick pic, dick pics i've sent so what do you Zero, do from, from an influencer standpoint how do you like ne- do you flirt with girls over dm the DMs? Instagram yeah, DMs? generally speaking, it's like this. But how, not, how do you not do it without being creepy? Because, okay, this is once again not something that I could explain to a person that's not in the same space as me. I get messages from girls that are just straight up them fingering their vagina. Like it's not, it's, once you get that as the opening statement of a DM, Steven, guess what? I can't be creepy. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> it's off the table. So you, you wait send for me those. A, you wait you for, send me you a, for, no, 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 not always. It's not always like that. There's ways to avoid. There's way. Always mirror and slightly go below their vibe. You will never ever see me lead or initiate any kind of fucking sexual conversation. It just won't happen. It's great advice. It will not happen. But but it's good advice, Jeff. But once again, not replicable for the average. I don't have to do that. Yeah. I don't have to do that. And this is a bad thing. I'm not even saying this is a good thing. Just wait. Give it a good five years of, you know, yeah. So, so what, what if a girl opens up right away and she's like, I want to ride you? Yes, then you can say basically anything. So what would you say As long as it's all... I want to ride you. What's what do you up, say bro? Be like, oh, be like, this be is, like, this, this you is a sensitive topic. Yeah. You know, if she says that, drop your address. Call, call it in. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not, oh, Steven. We got a call. Oh, forget it. We got a call. Who's this? You guys don't see the crane? Yeah, we see it, bro. Yeah, I see the crane, bro. It's funny. What do we call it? Construction work? What's up, bro? You a crane operator? <gasps> oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. This is incredible. But thanks for the support, man. I love the joke. It's nice of you to bring that up on the anniversary today. Two years. He's got something for you. Two years ago, I got blasted by one of those. What's <gasps> that? What is that? Oh, is that fireworks? You're going to blow this I think shit it's up? it's dynamite. No oh. way. No way, dude. This is my dream. This is how we celebrate over here. Is that a bunch of mortars on the crane? <laughs> oh, no, oh, hey, God. careful, no buddy. Way. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, careful. get back. Get out of there. Run, run, run. Yeah, <laughs> we're at war with the crane. Nice. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, baby. We are fighting back against the cranes. Where are you? All oh, right, New York. Oh, okay. oh shit. <laughs> Shout out to Peace Coast. What are you, in upstate? Yeah. Is that yours? Do you own that? <laughs> Yes. I would love to come up yes, there and, and, and maybe, you know, have a couple hours alone with that thing. What else you got? What else you got up there? You got anything else cool up there? Because we'll take a trip up there. Damn, yeah, I got four wheelers and oh. we could break we could break cars and stuff. Wow. Do you think, yo, Whoa. we can actually? I, I, seriously, I, I mean, I mean, it, we could. Pay, it'll cost a little bit of money to get permits and stuff, but we could probably blow that thing up. I'm down, yeah, blow I'm down it up. for that, but I, I would just like to, before we blow it up, have a few moments alone with it. I don't. What do you I, do? Fuck it. No, I can't explain. I don't want to get into detail, but wow, that's an old one, huh? What's that? A horse and carriage? Yeah. Is that, <laughs> that Churdley's exactly is that is this, buggy? Uh, are you in the 1800s? Wait, is that the buggy that Churdley pushed his friend off of the wagon? <laughs> <laughs> it's the anniversary of it. Yeah, it? June 25th, 2020 oh. is when it went down. Did you not even know? You just called in just to do that. That's pretty dope too. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for that. See you, brother. Yeah. I love. I, Yo, love, it's, I love the audience here. You the know, audience here on. On Jeff FM. The audience here on Jeff FM. <laughs> yeah, You're yeah. gonna bring them up to me right now. <laughs> you want to have that conversation? Yeah. Audience. Oscar, speaking of the audience, before Mike Incredible. goes on his fucking rant for the third time today, play that video that you were telling me that you wanted to share a nice video with us. Oh yeah. As you pull that up, you know Jeff wants me to go all in on that on that 
uh, DMing sex threesomes. That he wants me me to do that as my whole show, my my personal show. I think it'd be great. Like run, like call her daddy, but on the men's side. Yeah, just, yeah. Do you like that? I, I want to yo great. honestly. I, I, you guys know I always talk about the audience, and, and I love the audience. Do that. Mike. I want to know honestly what you guys think of that conversation we had. Around, They're gonna like, hate it here, but really? on your own thing, they'll love it. I loved it, you know. So let's run it. I think it's great. I mean, a few people on the Patreon and stuff. It. Yeah, there's some women that probably will be like, "Ah, oh, he's disgusting. You know, he's yeah. 37. He's fucking gross. Start a family. Go home. <laughs> Move back to Connecticut. Join the co- join the covenant." Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. We're, but we're, you know, uh, you're just being honest, and I think that's that's what I it's, like. About it's you so happening. Much. It's really happening. I promise you guys. It's yeah. not just it's not just me doing it. It's pretty prevalent that people out there are having intercourse. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm just talking about it. I, I have no. a, a very good another uh, question. Yep. So say if God forbid something happened with your career and like everything just disappeared like that. Yeah. In a day. My mom still. And you had to, me, you have to move back to Connecticut yeah. and you have to like you're like have to apply for a job. Yeah. What is your mindset like? I feel like this whole life you have right now would seem like a dream or like it didn't even happen. Yeah, that's hundred like, percent. you're back in well, Connecticut. I know what the mindset is. That's scary, Holy bro. shit. I get to see my mom every single day, play with my dog who has kidney disorder. My little sister lives there. My older sister lives there. My grandma's Whoa. there. My dad's there. Yeah, and you so could get, you your, could get your, some money for the house still. It's not like you bro, lose the house or the house well, is wiped no, out. No, they everything. take everything you, your from money, me. You have to get a job. You have to apply for a job. Everything's gone. All of your friend, Let like, me explain something to you real quick. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say <laughs> something. I really want you to hear this, bro. And I, I mean this. because I, and, I, and this is good for the audience, too. Biggie Smalls once said, more money, more problems. <laughs> this life that we live out here, brother constantly chasing not being grateful for what we have thinking about the next best thing oh i got a good girlfriend but look at that chick on instagram i got a blue check i can get at that girl he got a big yacht this shit ain't sustainable buddy you this buy shit, a four million dollar house a, and then you got graham not, Steph, bro, and yeah. roasting you graham coming Steph at and you roasting me somebody else is you know h3 is calling me a corrupt individual or whatever <laughs> i didn't want, i don't know what he's but yo guess what Somebody just bought a hundred and forty million dollar house. Now my four million dollar. I had a girl over last night. She came over. She said the house was pretty nice. That's what she said. Yeah. She yeah. said it was pretty nice. You want to know why? Because she had just left a forty million dollar house. This world out here that you're talking about ain't all it's cracked up to be, buddy. Okay. So yes, life in Connecticut, going back, getting a job at a land surveying firm, finding where the corners of people's properties are. Yeah. It's a good job. And guess what? I leave at 5 p.m. I clock out and I forget that I have a job. That's right. And I go yeah. and I spend time with my family and I create a real fucking life for myself where I have a kid so you, that I raise. I play baseball with. You wake up with. in the morning. You think about things that you have that, that you're for. You don't matter. look at You don't look in other people's pockets. Yeah, not this got. garbage. Not this garbage. Bro, listen to me. Bro, Steven. You never give no, yes, he does. He <laughs> knows. <laughs> it's not true, like, Steven. No, listen. I go back to selling drugs. I would never go back. Yeah, yeah. no. That's not an option for me. I'm no, all stop in. Stop it. Let me tell you the last point on it i live in los angeles the most toxic city on the planet but here's the one thing i can say confidently at least i can admit that i know that there's a lot of people here who play that game i live in los angeles i'm a big star i wear prada glasses bro i wear socks that someone fucking gave me my yeezys are three years old i have a shaved fucking head i'm a moron These are Gucci, but i know this shit i'm in i'm living a fucking dream world and at any day this shit can fucking go bro we, we, and then i have to go back to just being a normal guy and that's why i still talk to all my old homies that's why i call my mom every fucking day and that's why i try to stay as grounded as fucking possible and talk to real humans because this shit is not real so, so when you go home do you feel like for you should have gave me a when you could have clipped yeah, it. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Go. go. You, <laughs> you, go, <laughs> I'm you, go, go you go home for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. See fam- and yeah. Family. I'm stuttering. Jesus Christ. When you go home, do you feel like you're the shit? Honestly, you go, you're going from you're a small I mean, fish bro, to a big yeah, sea to a, 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 a <laughs> yeah, big fish. Yeah, obviously. I, go, I literally go out to the bars just because just it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I just show up and people you be like, oh, shit. Fish. You know bro, what I'm saying? And also, but guess what, bro? It's not real. It's not. Here, well, here's the difference. Here's the difference where I will say it's semi-real. I actually, I actually am awesome. Like I'm actually an awesome person. I'm a nice, kind, smart, I agree. funny individual. Yeah. I have real tenets and real values that I can stand on, regardless of if this LA shit works or doesn't. Like I'm actually, I have a long life, a history, and I value that I can deliver back to the community always for the rest of my life. Do you want to know what I would probably do? I'd probably start a fucking rehabilitation clinic for addicts that couldn't afford re- treatment. Really? Yeah, I would do something good for the fucking community, you bro. You're not tell me you wouldn't miss, like, the lifestyle that you live now. But I always live crazy. When I was 16 years old, I was living crazy. I had chicks when I was 16 years old. I've been fucking since I was 16 well, years old. I've fucking, been doing man. shit crazy. <laughs> like your house, I've been like... a reckless motherfucker since I was 16. That shit will, can go on as long as I want it to go on. It's just, instead of staying at the fucking Omnia, I'm at the Holiday Inn. Okay. 
You know, you feel me? So, is there going to be a certain point where you maybe move back to? Well, I don't know if you're ever move back there, but or just not. somewhere like I, more I, slow. I, move out of LA. Yeah. Nobody's moving you back. You have a family. Yeah, you have a, 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 you have land. Yeah, like I'll leave here. I'll leave. Twenty LA. acres of land. Well, you I'll would go. Here. You would go to Calabasas, or you. Nah, 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 go nah, to nah, nah, Puerto leave, Rico. Nah, I might leave Calabasas LA. Calabasas is still. <laughs> yeah, it's still LA technically. I would leave California. I would go to um. You know what I like? East Coast. I like back? lakes and and so my Ooh. final note and then I'm gonna <laughs> shut up because I know the alpha brains have me cooking. I'm fucking roasting today. I'm on fire. I'm sweating. And I'm sure I can't everyone take this alpha me. brain anymore. Last note I'll say and then I'm fucking not talking for the rest of the show. I'll sit here like a fucking mime. I'll do my hand motions only. I, like I love water. I love water. And f- I, everyone, know, the majority of my audience knows that my main obsession in life is with something called the Lazy River. It's a very well known oh. fact. I get tagged constantly. Something about water calms me. So if you put me on a lake in my olding a- in my aging age, my old my old age, so I don't even know how to now, talk. I'm happy. Dude, I went, I went, I when I went to Staten Island, I, I, went okay. on a, I ran around the lake with his mom. Or walked it. It's nice, huh? And that was very <laughs> peaceful. No, so, that's cool. Wait, no, no, no. So, wait, would you move back to the East Coast? No? He's done. He's done talking. That... Off, off camera, though. I actually want to know. Like, Would you ever move back to the East Coast? Yeah? Yeah. Right, cool. Live in New that's York fun. for the spring or summer or something? Yeah, that'd be cool. Let's watch okay. this video. So I'm a really big fan of Jeff Wittick yeah, and Jeff bigger. FM. So I am going to go get a lip tattoo that says Jeff FM because I like for what he stands for and like about <laughs> how don't let your past about. define you and all that good stuff. So... Let's go. <laughs> wow, don't let your past define you. Oh, damn. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. oh, my God. <laughs> I never know how to feel when I see that. It just feels like you got more pressure on you now. Too many you know? Fs. Wow, so- she got three Fs in her mouth in a row. Wow. That, that is, <laughs> you, you got to talk a, a little bit on that, Mike. That is. <laughs> now what do we? We just talked about he all this crazy so stuff. Yeah, you want, just talk. Bro. Yeah, he's <laughs> itching. That's why you're here. That's why you're here to talk. I know that, but I just uh, it's your show and the audience. I I like to respect them because they're creative and intelligent. I would just I would just I would just say, have you reshared this yet? No. No. You sh- dude, you're gonna. Here's what I'll say. If you're gonna let her do it, I don't want to promote not this behavior. Do it, I don't want I don't want to show getting tattoos because it's. I mean, it's a sin to get tattoos, you know? It's haram. Well, Santa doesn't give you presents that year if you get a tattoo. Is that actually the truth? Yeah. Is so that what, what? Is that what they said? you were bad that year. That. Yeah, tattoos are bad. Because tattoos I, are haram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, like I appreciate it. You know, I'm grateful that she did that. I, I, I love the support. But also, you know, that's on. is that on there for life or the lip? It fades off, right? You know, Lana asked me back in the day if I wanted, me to, if, if I wanted her to take John off her ass and put Mike on it. And I said no because I so, just don't. I don't, I don't, I'm not looking. Wait, so fucking, name was John. I thought it was Mike. Stephen. What? I don't know if you. Know. <laughs> wait. She had her ex's. Same? She had a tattoo of her ex's name on her butt, so Mike would see that. Oh. When they were doing their their business. God damn it. What's your fucking deal? <laughs> no, I'm so no, sorry. I, I'm sorry. Wait, I have I to ask this, you. No. I specifically have to ask you. What is your fucking deal? You sit here. You <laughs> no stop. You sit here. You mock Alpha Brain. You you mock Alpha Brain, which clearly bro, is like you want. I don't bro, like bro. it. I don't feel no I no no no. no. And you stop too. You stop too. It's because of your it's because of your perspective and your thought process. You just gotta. You did not set proper intentions. If you take acid, you go into it thinking, "Wow, today's a bright day. I'm gonna learn a lot about myself." You don't think to yourself, "Storm clouds are coming. I have anxiety and stomach issues," yeah. which is what you said about p- poor Alpha Brain since the start. Alpha Brain has turned me into a new man. Alpha Brain has made me want to stop my ways. Alpha Brain made me want to. Be closer to my friends and family. I think you're, you're going to be the top podcast in the world now. Ever since bro, Alpha Brain is on it. Bro, Logan's going to have to everyone, really though. step his game up Yeah, I know. I know. I couldn't He's get a word in this study. whole I couldn't get a word in the whole podcast. It bro, just, it's over. It's over. Bro, so I'm going to start this new sex-based podcast that just talks all about penetration and threesomes. <laughs> and everyone's going to listen to it. And Alpha Brain is going to be the thing that drives me to the fucking top of the fucking the industry. And guess who's going to be my number one supporter in space? Joe Rogan. Oh, uh, so man. I have an auto cosign on my new podcast sponsored by Alpha Brain. Bro, I got a headache. I feel like I've been watching this whole podcast on double speed. Wait, so you said what's your deal? Uh, what, you just went on that long tangent about Alpha what is it, Brain, whatever it's called. Yeah. You, you, are you able to those cut are, his mic off? Those are off? words. Those are, are you able words. to cut his mic off? Like, just cut it off? What? But you were just saying that. All right, let's wrap, let's wrap it up. I uh, love that you got the tattoo. Thank you for the support. Guys, we're going to Vegas next weekend for Sugar Sean O'Malley's Man, fight. I don't know if that's true. We might go. Um, so that'll be fun if we do that. We'll have a lot of cool stuff to talk about next week. 
Let me know if you want Mike on the show once a month, twice a month. You know, we're, I'm getting played off on my own goddamn show. Uh, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, happy anniversary. To me, I feel like it's my birthday. You know? <coughs> ah, that alpha brain. <laughs>